The future of the union is featuring heavily in the campaign for the leadership of the Conservative Party. Some of the leading candidates have been setting out how they'd respond to demands for another Scottish independence referendum. Here's our chief political correspondent, Glenn Campbell. It's no surprise that Boris Johnson and every other candidate for the leadership of what is the Conservative and Unionist Party wants Scotland to stay in the UK. All those who seek to walk through this door as Prime Minister oppose another independence referendum, but some sound more hardline than others. The Home Secretary, Sajid Javid, says he won't allow Indiref 2 if he becomes Prime Minister, words echoed by the former Work and Pension Secretary, Esther McVeigh. The former Brexit Secretary, Dominic Raab, says it's a once-in-a-generation event, while the former Commons leader, Andrea Leadsom, says only that she would not seek another referendum. The Foreign Secretary told me public opinion would be his guide. For me, it's the Scottish people who are saying loud and clear they do not want another independence referendum. You're saying no, and never? I think, I, think, well, I think leaders, political leaders in Scotland and the UK should listen to the people of Scotland. That's still a no from Mr Hunt. Opposition that nationalists think could drive up support for an independence vote as the UK prepares to leave the EU. A Brexit that works for people in Culloden as well as Canary Wharf. Under his leadership, the Foreign Secretary hints at a more flexible approach to post-Brexit visas. In Scotland's case, that means making sure that we construct a post-Brexit immigration policy that works for the Scottish economy. The Environment Secretary Michael Gove, who has most declared supporters among Scottish Tory MPs, was also talking about the need for flexibility on migration at the Scottish Affairs Committee today. This Scottish Tory MP wants candidates to promise a lower earnings threshold for migrant workers to win her support. I don't think it's about pulling up the drawbridge and having an unnecessary cap. I don't think you know, that the, the complete freedom of movement entirely works for us. I think we need to positively manage migration. The International Development Secretary wants to give the UK Government Department for Scotland more clout. A stronger, more powerful version of the Secretary of State for Scotland with the money behind it, with the resources behind it. European structural funds, billions of pounds. The Health Secretary thinks the UK needs to get better at self-promotion. I want to make sure that the union is at the heart of everything that the UK government does. I want to see the UK government doing more to explain the value of the union. There are already 11 leadership wannabes with the campaign due to begin formally on Monday. Tory MPs, including the 13 elected in Scotland, will select their favourite two from which Conservative Party members will choose. Glenn Campbell, Reporting Scotland.